for whatever reason, uh, it's laid upon my heart. Uh, Revelation chapter 6. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, there's 17 verses. Maybe we'll just read it all. And if it takes till 5 in the afternoon, so be it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> all right, this is uh, the Apostle John. As I think everybody's aware, he's on the island of Patmos. And uh, he was actually uh, put there to just grow old, starve to death, and die, but the Lord did not allow it to happen. The Lord gave him a revelation of, what is a revelation about? It will tell you uh, before you even start reading the first verse, believe it or not. It, it's the revelation of Jesus Christ to John. All right, verse 1. John said, And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it was the noise of thunder one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bowl, and a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld in lo a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the fourth beast say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. <clears throat> and I looked, and I beheld a pale horse, and his name uh, that sat on him was death. And hell followed with him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the field. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw uh, under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true? Doest thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. And I beheld when he uh, had opened the sixth seal. And lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth. 
of hair, and the moon uh, became as blood. <clears throat> and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll, when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places, and the kings of the earth and the great men, and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Let me read a little bit of this. Uh, seven. And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried out with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. All right. Now you go on down and it reads about 144,000. There was one guy that actually told me uh, <clears throat> that John the Baptist did not go to heaven and the 144,000 was the only uh, number that was going to be saved. I told him it was nonsense and he was talking hogwash. I used to work with him long uh, years ago. And I made sure he knew that, brother, if John the Baptist didn't go to heaven, I don't have a choice. I mean, I don't have a chance. I said, John the Baptist went to heaven just as sure as you and I are talking right now. And I explained to him about the 144,000 being the 12 tribes of Israel. 12,000 from each tribe of Israel rose up out of the grave and they went to be with the Lord, which made up 144,000. But we, the rest of the earth, the later reign, if you will, that God talks about, <clears throat> he has great patience for it and waits for it. That's you and I and the ones he's going to uh, receive at his coming. Now church, when we get into these, uh, I have spoken, we was teaching about this once and we uh, 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 explained uh, what the seals were and we asked questions uh, in the Bible study and nobody uh, disagreed. Everybody came to the agreement after we got around to rightly dividing it and asking questions and then uh, asking, has it came to pass yet? And every one of those except for one were, yes, all of the seals had been opened. Uh, who opened the seals? <clears throat> all right, the lamb in verse one. Open one of the seals. Now, he opened the ball. So that's God, Jesus. Uh, th they are the same. <clears throat> now, the first seal, he, heard uh, uh, he saw the, in verse 2, a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. Many people 
uh, once thought until they learned better. And many people, maybe for all I know, still think uh, because of the white horse. Well, that's Jesus. No, I'm afraid it's not. It's the false prophet. Uh, Jesus didn't have a bow. The false prophet wearing, uh, riding on the white horse. Now that seal's been open for I don't know how long. Verse 2, And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there was another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take place. I mean to take peace from the earth that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword. Would you think once again, it's been a long time, but do you think that seal has been opened? Is the, is the, uh, can we go around this world and just find peace? Can we find all kinds of peace? I'm thinking not. There is no peace on this earth. People are indeed killing one another. As we speak, one nation is, or country is uh, uh, trying to bomb and destroy another. Uh, what is it? Russia or Germany uh, uh, trying to destroy the Ukrainians? <clears throat> Who was it? Russia, yeah. I think Russia is in Germany, isn't it? <laughs> I think, no. <laughs> Two separate ones, all right. There you go. I know they're all in Europe. I got that part right. <laughs> but that's been open for a good while. People uh, have been coming against one another for I don't know how long now, way before I was born. And people are, are, are dying every day. Five. <clears throat> And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard the be a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the wine, oil or the wine. And I'm going to continue on and back up. <clears throat> and when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a, a okay, a, a six. Let me stop right there for a moment, back up. I thought it was going to say something else, but uh, apparently I was uh, misled for whatever reason. What is that talking about? The balance is in his hand. Anybody? Inflation, that's right, inflation. Uh, is there inflation in this world? Oh, man. Well, that, what a silly question. Well, apparently, if, if you think it's a silly question and you say, absolutely, everything's skyrocketing and going, it does that all the time. Been doing that for I don't know how long, just, just like uh, uh, the other one has. Goes way up, it'll come way down. Uh, and then it'll dangle there, making everybody smile for a little while. It's like, well, let's uh, take the bottom, pull the bottom out from underneath of them again. A lot of people cannot even afford to go in and buy food today. A lot of people have the money in their hand and they go in to get the food and guess what? It's already started. A lot of the shelves in a lot of places are empty. Can't even get them stocked. So, when uh, people talk about the mark of the beast, and you know, you'll have money and won't be able to buy food, and there you go. Everything is already in place, going on, happening before our eyes, and no, uh, a very, very few, a uh, handful of people, it seems, are actually aware of it. Why? Because they do not take the time, especially in the book of Revelation. That's too hard. Uh, that's scary. 
Well, if we will compare it with the Old Testament in many places and compare it with what Jesus said while he walked upon the earth, we will uh, be and uh, allow the Holy Spirit to direct us. <clears throat> we really won't have, it may take a while, but we really won't have, don't sit there and beat ourselves up trying to figure out what this is saying. Meditate upon it from time to time. Ponder on it. Don't let it leave your heart. The Holy Spirit will take care of it uh, eventually. Guarantee it. But a lot of people can't wait upon God. He's just too slow, a lot of people say. One person asked me before they live in another country, they said, Brother uh, uh, Miller, <clears throat> uh, that's talking about Ezekiel and Revelation, said, you know what? Uh, both of those books scare me, they said. <clears throat> and said, I, uh, I, I, I can't understand them. They're scary about all of these beasts. And uh, uh, they came to the conclusion and asked me a question because they're... When Ezekiel said, I saw uh, this thing in the air, and it had two wheels of fire. And when, when, when it turned, wherever the one wheel of fire went, the other wheel of fire went in the same way. And they're trying their best to use their uh, carnal mind uh, to figure out what this is. And I said, well, I, I won't... Uh, swear to it and I won't say uh, that this what I'm getting ready to tell you is the exact uh, uh, thing that he was talking about because there's all kinds of things but consider that he got a glimpse of the future way ahead of himself what's on the back of a plane what's on the back of jets Two rings of fire with their motor. Uh, yes, I, I'm just giving her something to think about. It was a her giving you something to think about. <clears throat> but we can't sit there and try to conjure up some massive monster uh, in our heads like we see on TV. Now understand this. A lot of things we see on TV, it's got big monsters in it. Uh... Some of the things that take place there may indeed and already have, believe it or not, taken place in the real world. But it wasn't because of, uh, cause of some big gigantic monster. It was because of man. It was because of man's heart being evil continually, being greedy continually. <clears throat> Inflation. It's here, been here for I don't know how long, and guess what? It's not going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere except up. Uh, <clears throat> seven. I'll start there now. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth, fourth beast say, Come and see. And I, uh, and I looked. And behold, a pale horse, and his name that set on him was death. And hell followed with him, and power was given uh, unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword, uh, with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beast of the field. People get need alive, absolutely. People dying because of the sword, you better believe it. Uh, <clears throat> people are in one, uh, maybe a quarter of the world, it says a fourth of the world, people dying with hunger, absolutely. It has spread it all over, even into America. It has spread it, it has spread everywhere, worldwide. And yet, think about this, church, just in case you haven't. And yet, with all of the millions and the billions that go to other countries, 
People are still dying on a daily basis because of hunger. Oh, huh, wow. Are our priorities intact? Absolutely not. Man's got a mission. Man has an agenda. And it does not involve and it does not include trying their best to stop uh, the poor from vanishing. It does not include trying to prevent hunger. I know we hear uh, about it and preventing hunger uh, on a daily basis. We can hear all kinds of stuff on the radio. But let's be honest with ourselves. Does anything ever seem to really change? It doesn't. It doesn't. But we're out here killing, taking life away <clears throat> with the sword, with hunger, with the beast of the field. Yeah, a lot of people has these big tigers or lions, uh, and they will feed them people, believe that or not. They have them as pets in other places, and uh, before their pet would starve, <laughs> hey, buddy, come on in. Go in there and pet the kitty. Yeah. You think that don't happen? Of course it does. And, and of course, beasts just come right up out of the water, especially alligators, crocodiles, and just rip a person all to pieces. But anyway, let's go on. Keep in mind what we're talking about here, what we're uh, saying. And uh, verse 9, And when he had opened the fifth seal, <clears throat> I saw the altar of the, uh, I saw under the altar rather the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. Now for the word of God and the testimony that is of Jesus Christ. Now so hopefully, I just want to mention this without going into it and getting all uh, uh, tied up in it. But there are two witnesses in the book of Revelation, and you go all the way back in the first uh, uh, chapter, I believe it gives it to you. Real close to the beginning. But if you can't comprehend it, these two witnesses, it's not Elijah, it's not Moses. I know they appeared unto Jesus at the uh, uh, mount, and that's where a lot of people get those. Well, it's going to be, but I'm telling you right now, it's God, uh, Jesus, and the Word. Those are the two witnesses. Because these witnesses have power to shut up heaven that it rain not. I know men have prayed. Elijah prayed that it rain not, but he's not the one, and it, and it did not rain. But Elijah is not the one that has or had the power to shut up heaven, it was the Lord. The Lord and His Word. Those are the two witnesses. <clears throat> All right, now, verse 10. <clears throat> and they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord? Just like a lot of people do here on earth. Holy and true, doest thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season or a little while. Just a little while now until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. It's not going to be everybody that serves the Lord, uh, but there's going to be a whole lot that's going to be in the same category. They're going to be martyrs for the Lord. The, uh, 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 some of us may end up that way. We just don't know it yet. But I pray always, if and when that time ever came, that God would give me the grace to stand up uh, for his word and not back away from it regardless. Uh, <clears throat> Twelve. And I heard when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth even as a fig tree casteth uh, 
her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heavens uh, departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. And every mountain and every island were moved out of their places. That right there tells me something, church. The great and dreadful day of God when that fifth seal is open, that's all she wrote. All she wrote. And the sixth seal being open, you know, uh, nobody's going to be harmed. Nothing's going to be destroyed until the Lord uh, from the four corners of the earth get his people. And we are all caught up into the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord and then let loose my wrath. Now, church, you don't have to take my word for it. I'm just trying to help us to understand. And I want to go uh, to uh, one, uh, Old Testament 1 verse. <clears throat> I know I'll find it because uh, I, know, I know where it's at. <clears throat> Psalms 118 verse 9 says it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Many people are confident, uh, I'll guarantee you Putin is confident that things is going to come out exactly the way he has planned and exactly the way he wants it to. Uh, church, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Uh, uh, but I'll tell you this, his confidence is in the wrong place because it's in himself and it's in his arms. Well, I'm not talking about his two arms. I'm talking about the military arms. It's in uh, uh, what they have, the weapons. It's in the men uh, 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 and women that are doing his bidding. And the same brother with uh, the presidents or the kings and queens wherever they are. Many of us, uh, many people have uh, their confidence in their own self. Many people have uh, confidence in their military. And I'll guarantee you this, uh, uh, no matter who has a military all over the world, I'll guarantee you they've got uh, confidence all in their military. Especially the American president. Especially uh, the American of people. Uh, they've got great uh, 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 great confidence in their military. I mean, after all, the military in America uh, to my knowledge is the biggest of all of them across the world at least right now. And we have some excellent, superb uh, technology uh, that people are not even aware of. Many things are top secret. Many things are confident uh, confidential and uh, uh, many people when they get done believe this or not what I'm getting ready to say is the cold hard facts of uh, the cold hard truth uh, regardless of who don't believe it or who don't like to hear it and brother if somebody uh, 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 with the ears that uh, uh, heard of what or actually hears later somehow uh, what I'm getting ready to say it may or may not cost me my own life uh, but church listen uh, the CIA and the special uh, uh, agents and the special forces and the uh, all of these things uh, when the people are done with them uh, they think uh, that they're going off to retire uh, but nevertheless uh, they seem to disappear uh, well he took his own life uh, she had an accident uh, why is it end up that way church uh, not all of the time I won't lie uh, but many times it has over the past years and it will continue to do so uh, because of what they know uh, because they just know too much uh, uh, to be let loose and just live your life uh, every day it's not going to work that way it's not going to pan out that way uh, but they 
have confidence in the life that they're living, do they not? And the people that are still working in these places, uh, they have confidence uh, that they'll always be there. And they have confidence uh, that when they're through, uh, they'll have a life of luxury. Uh, but church, let me tell you, uh, some people that have been singers and some people that have been actors have a, a, a food around and started uh, doing background look uh, looking up and background checks uh, into people uh, taking uh, uh, the children from the United States and taking them across the world and uh, just doing with them what they want to and making a big multi-billion dollar uh, uh, business from it. And I'll tell you what, uh, the ones that started looking into these things, uh, brother, uh, one, I believe he had hanged himself, uh, brother, uh, 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 and he had two children, and he had a wife. I don't buy it, church. I don't buy it at all uh, because he was, they were on stage uh, doing this for uh, I don't know how long. And all of a sudden, a little while after they start mingling, uh, they have an accident. It happens every day, church. It happens all over the world. And it happens uh, because of man's agenda. A man's got some things he don't want to get out. A man's got some things uh, that, brother, he's willing uh, to do anything for, including uh, see his own family uh, become a uh, 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 get murdered and be taken away uh, or be tortured. Uh, brother, there are some people in this walkway of life, and you know it just as well as I know it, uh, that because of money and drugs, uh, they're willing to drive by people's houses. And brother, uh, if there's young children inside the house or on the porch and they get killed, uh, then so be it. Uh, you should have gave me the money uh, for the drugs uh, uh, when uh, you said you would and now this is the price that you pay uh, but the cartels and the whole bunch of people uh, brothers all over the world uh, they've got their faith in themselves they've got their faith in their weapons uh, they've got their faith of uh, that brother nobody's above them it's not and some people even here in America uh, their faith and confidence is in uh, uh, the stock market, is it not? It's in the CDs, is it not? It's in the bonds, is it not? Uh, some people have their uh, trust in the economy. I know it's going to go down, and when it does, don't flip out and get rid of everything because why? It's going to come back up, and when it comes way back up, uh, that's the time to sell, they say. Uh, but church, I'm here to tell the truth, the whole truth, 